Hey, what's going on? It's Daniel Gillespie here with ThePawnArriving.com and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about one of the best credit cards that nobody else talks about. So before jumping in, if you're new, I've been blogging about miles and points for the past five years and on this channel, I cover a lot of different topics related to credit cards. So if you like that type of stuff, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Now, in case you don't know, we recently launched the new credit card app, WalletFlow, which is an app that allows you to automate your eligibility for all of your credit card applications. So far, we've received a lot of positive feedback, which is very encouraging, but one of the unexpected byproducts of launching this app is that I've actually discovered a lot of new credit cards after users have submitted their own cards. This actually has allowed me to find some really valuable sort of hidden gem credit cards and so it inspired me to start a new series where every now and again I'm just going to highlight some of those lesser known credit cards that we never talk about. So the first credit card that I want to highlight for this series is the Logix Federal Credit Union Platinum Rewards Credit Card. And the specialty with this card is in its everyday spend potential. Now before jumping into too much detail, I should point out that this credit union is not available to people all around the US. It only serves select states and those states are Arizona, California, DC, Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, New Hampshire, Nevada, and Virginia. I think I got those abbreviations right, but if I didn't, sorry, please don't be offended. So this card is very similar to those offered by Bank of America that allow you to earn more rewards as long as you have more assets with that bank. In this case, there are three different tiers of rewards that you can qualify for. The most basic is silver, which requires a balance of $20,000, gold, a balance of $35,000, and platinum, a balance of $100,000. And as you can see in this chart, there are corresponding earning rates for all of your purchases based on the tier that you qualify for. So silver is going to earn 1.5, gold's going to earn 2 points, and platinum is actually going to earn 3 points on all purchases. So this card can effectively become a card that earns 3% back on all purchases. Now if you know anything about credit cards or you've been in the game for a while, you know that it is extremely rare to find a card that earns 3% back on all purchases. Even if you look at programs like Bank of America's Preferred Rewards where you can qualify for higher earning rates, 3% in a straight cashback form is extremely difficult and hard to find especially on an unlimited basis. So the tricky part is just qualifying for this highest tier of platinum with $100,000 in assets. Now the bank actually spells out exactly what qualifies and they state that your household's combined logics loan, mortgage, checking, money market and savings balances all qualify, but certificates are excluded. So if you were in one of these states and you were looking to pull out a mortgage or maybe you have some auto loans, that right there could set you up to qualify for platinum or at least come close in a lot of cases. And in that case, you might as well look into a card that can earn you 3% cash back if you're just interested in earning cash back on your rewards. Now putting money into a money market account or into a savings account is really a different question. You're gonna be looking at putting up to $100,000 in an account like that and for a lot of people, you're gonna have so much better returns in something like the stock market or perhaps other types of investments that you may not want to do that. But still, I know a lot of people are comfortable with the low risk nature of money market accounts and they're willing to settle for those lower interest rates just for the security of knowing that their money is in a trusted place. But regardless of whether or not you actually have the mortgage or the loan needs to qualify for this $100,000 balance, or if you're actually interested in dropping some of your cash into a money market account, I don't think that it's ever really a good idea to go chasing these huge requirements just to earn more rewards. I think it should be more of a thing where if it fits into your current plans and financial goals, you may just go ahead and look into it, especially if you are already in one of those states where you're eligible to sign up for this credit union. So that's all for this card. I'm sure that there are a lot of other cards that we're gonna uncover. And in fact, one of the things I want to do with the Wallet Flow database as it grows is allow users to tap into this so that they can easily find a lot of these hidden gem cards. And so different ways that we've contemplated is allowing users to select some type of filter where they can input the region that they live in, perhaps the amount of assets they'd be willing to put into something like a savings account, and then they can see the cards that they qualify for. And that's one thing that I think is gonna make Wallet Flow special is that because it's not one of these crazy affiliate driven products, it's gonna actually offer you very objective advice that is in your best interest and not just 
completely ran by a bunch of people who want to earn commission on your cards. And I think in the long run, that's gonna help a lot of people and they're gonna to come to appreciate it. So that's it for this video. I hope that you at least found it interesting. Even if you don't live in one of the qualifying states that there is a card out there that earns unlimited 3% cash back in certain cases. And I think you're gonna be surprised by some of the other cards that I end up showcasing because they offer some really nice, unique value propositions.